Hey guys, it's Justin back with Engineer's Perspective. And today I'm gonna do a video on my kind of field bag I take with me whenever I go out. Um, so to kind of frame this up, so I actually am an engineer in the oil and gas industry, uh, dealing with a lot of what are called unconventional wells. So like when you think fracking, right? Um, which correlates to having like hundreds of sites that we have these wells at. So if I need to go out and look at things specifically, deal with things, um, you know, I could be at any of these sites, any time of year, doing anything. So this is the bag that I keep in my kind of larger PPE bag, so I have to wear FR clothing. So I've got, you know, the winter stuff and every, everything in this big bag, and this is the tool bag that's inside of there. Um, this is gonna be more tool related than like PPE related. So, but this is what I bring along with me to kind of get those tasks done. So I've got here this Bucket Boss brand original bag. It's a pretty nice bag. Uh, it's not too beat up, so you know, you can kind of see what I've got down in there. I'm just gonna start pulling them out and talking about them. Um, first off the bat, I guess, I guess this is PPE, so whatever. But our gloves, I uh, usually like these uh, uh, finer detail gloves so I can write easier with these mechanics gloves. Always recommend a glove clip. Um, flashlight's always important. This is an intrinsically safe one, so the batteries won't cause an explosion. Um, so yeah, I don't love, love this battery, but it has a really great hot spot, which I dig. It also has this lamp feature. So it's like actually kind of nice flashlight with a magnet there and a clip. So I actually kind of like it. Nightstick. Um, this I basically never use, but it's a ball peen hammer in case you got to whack on something like an air compressor or, you know, get a screwdriver in somewhere. So almost never use that. So that gets used a lot as a screwdriver. This is just the Linux like six in one or whatever. So it's got fill up, two Phillips, two flats, and then uh, two squares. And then it's got that size hex. I think it's five sixteenth. And you've got quarter hex. So just a decent screwdriver. I like these these Linux ones. I don't love them. You know, some sort of OEM makes this same screwdriver for like everybody. But I usually prefer a less rubbery handle, but that has is a little bit blockier, like a triangle or square shape, because it's easier to get leverage based off of geometry versus off of this grip. But I do always like to have a round back. So anyways, so decent screwdriver. Um, probably one of my most important tools is a good old tape measure. This is a Milwaukee magnetic one, 25 footer. I really dislike the clips on these. They always come super tight. I usually end up just shoving a, some sort of something underneath this clip for a couple of days when I get them. And then you can see how it's like permanently bent out there. There you can see that. That way it slips in and out. The magnetic tip is super nice to get up on I-beams or pipe so you can pull tape. I like that it's double-sided. I will say um, I've killed two of these before, so they're pretty robust for drops, but if you get these things filled with kind of like um, really fine sandy water, like it ruins the inside. That would ruin the inside of anything. And I've had this little like scratch guard delaminate on me before as well, so... It's a good tape, it's got good uh, extension, but I've had problems with them in the past and they're pretty bulky, but it's a, it's a good tape. Um, next one are some wrenches. So I've got the 250 millimeter Cobras uh, if I need to get on anything really big. And then I've got the 180 millimeter um, plier wrenches for what usually ends up being between quarter inch and one inch fittings on things um, and I prefer to not mar them up if I can avoid it. I used to carry the 250 millimeter versions of these but I find that they're a little bit cumbersome and bigger than what I needed so I've since switched to the 180s for this bag. So that's those are my wrenches. 
Just got a Milwaukee Fastback razor because always got to have one of those. Allen, or not Allen keys, but uh, hex keys. So I've got metric and uh, SAE. Most of our stuff is SAE. So those are useful for taking apart air dryers or certain different um, like controllers or valve controller things. Um, here's another really important one I like is a little temperature gun. Um, this is super critical. It's really great because you can see like tank levels with this because like the temperature will shift where the level's at. You can see like the outlet pre or temperature on compressor compressors or if you're working in a place that has steam you can see if the steam's on or off. Super useful tool to figure out what's going on and to get information that you can plug into a model or whatever. So really recommend the temperature guns. If you have like the video screen with a flur on it. I'm gonna go turn this off over here. Um, those are amazing. Like you can just look at the camera and it's got the infrared scan on it. You can like look at a whole area and see what's going on. Those are really great. Um, normally I have a wave in here with a flashlight, but those are hoard out somewhere else currently. Laser tape for long distances or significant heights when the tape measure is having a hard time reaching. This one, I'm not sure what the range is on it. It's like decent, but not super far. It's the GLM 30. There we go, 100 feet. It could be, if I got a slightly better one of these, that wouldn't be the end of the world, but this one's been doing me really well. Here's an Olight lanyard on there. And this is actually really slick because you can use it for measuring, but also pointing. So if you're ever walking down something with somebody, they say that thing right there. So I actually use this a lot as a pointer, believe it or not. Duct tape, mostly for writing. So if you want to write on something, it's kind of a dick move to just write Sharpie right on like an MCC bucket. So you can put duct tape on there and write on the duct tape. It's also good for like um, labeling things in the field. Cause like usually I don't carry tags with me, which isn't a bad idea. But the reason I don't is cause I'll just put duct tape on something, you know, like you fold it over into a tag and you can write on the tag, you know, bad, bad hose or whatever, you know? So that's mostly what I use that for. String, just because sometimes you got to wrangle stuff or lift stuff or whatever. Um, if you're taking garbage out and you just need to like keep a, a bunch of stuff together, you just always got to keep some cord to Johnny, some ropes. That's just some orange 550 cord there. Um, kind of same spirit. Zip ties are super good for keeping bundles of things together or zip tying like parts together so they don't get lost. So I think these are like 10 inch zip ties or something. 11, 10 to 12 inch zip ties. Honestly, the bigger, the better. Vice grips. It's always good because a lot of times you're out there by yourself to have a second pair of hands so you can hold something you know in its own spot over there and you can pull pull it taut to measure it or do whatever is what I mainly use these for but vice grips is a really key tool like you just always have to have vice grips um, headlamp once again intrinsically safe this one's just okay it's got quite the hot spot to uh, uh, brightness settings it's just okay I do like that it's got this really sticky rubbery band because it goes on your hard hat um, and that way it doesn't like slip up so that's super critical is that sticky sticky band there WD-40 for when you run, run across those uh, rusted up bolts spare sharpie just for writing spare pencil for writing and then on the outside here, got an extra pair of earplugs. And then I end up doing most of my writing with this red Sharpie in like a notepad. So that's what I'm missing here is a notepad. Always, always bring something to write notes on. So, oh, and last but not least is this little where, uh, uh, is that a three millimeter tip there? It says 0.5 by 3. 
That's confusing to me. I think that'd be a three millimeter tip. Um, anyways, it's a thousand volt insulated uh, control screwdriver. So I use this for controls. So that's like the perfect size there for that. And it's insulated so you don't have to worry about getting shocked. I like these hard plastic handles with the rubber inserts too. So that's what that is. And that's, that's everything. So, um, you know, you kind of bring this kind of stuff and then when you see that you needed something but you didn't have it, you bring it next time. You, or you have things that you have never used so you end up tossing them out, like maybe this hammer, I haven't used it much at all. Um, you kind of just refine to your needs that way. But this has really been suiting kind of my needs in terms of what I do in the field. So I thought I'd kind of share this with you and you might find it interesting or very boring. I don't know. But um, let me know in the comments, I guess. But that's what I like to carry with me. And uh, I hope you found that interesting and enjoyable. So that's all I've got for you. Have a good one. Bye.